pique your interest. There's been a lot of discussion about off-app activity with TNCs and large concern about that. Uh, we recently had charged over the Christmas holiday. Uh, many of you from the Richmond area or know about the Tacky Light Tour in Richmond. Uh, Uber RVA set up their own website and they were advertising similarly like you do of taking people to the Tacky Light Tours, which of course they cannot do under the code as you all can do. So we set up an operation. We actually charged a driver in court with off app activity and we got a conviction. And we thus, after that, sent information to Uber and they were taken off the app for a year. So there are things that are going on. There are things that are successfully happening with us. Um, I will mention a couple other things. How many of you all, and it's probably not those of you who are here because it's this is the choir, okay? Um, but how many of you all have, and you don't have to raise your hand to think about this, do you have drivers who are working for Uber Black on the off time when they're not working for you with your vehicles? All right. um, some of you may, some of you may not. Uh, do you lease vehicles? Those are things to think about, especially at the airports and some of our other venues where we're running across individuals who are in for hire vehicles and they are responding to, when we call on the TNC app looking for a ride, we get a for hire vehicle showing up. Okay. Um, the airport takes care of Uber and they charge Uber. Uh, we do things a little differently. We not only, it would not only be a penalty against Uber or Lyft or whoever the TNC would be, uh, we actually are gonna be charging the drivers as well. They get penalty, penalized as well. That's where the rubber meets the road, it's the driver. So if some of your drivers are out there and they are driving, remember they have to keep in line with your CPC requirements, okay, which means or a CCIR, whatever they're driving under, okay? But they have to keep in line with their manifest, their trip permit, and the hour regulations as well. We catch them in between, your drivers and your businesses are gonna be the one that are gonna be um, held at the end of that. So just a couple things to keep in mind. Again, I'm probably very much preaching to the choir because you're here, okay? It's the folks that aren't here that we usually have the problems with. It's a little harder to get the information out. But those are some of the things successfully we're doing. Um, if you'd like a business card, I have plenty of business cards. Um, you can find us, obviously, DMV doesn't hide anywhere, okay? You can find us anywhere, anytime. Um, if there's any questions you have, either now or later, we'll certainly be around to answer those questions. And we thank you for what you do out there, and we thank you and your drivers for being in compliance. It makes our job easy. Uh, for those that are not in compliance, they kind of see a different side of us. <laughs> so with that, thank you very much for the invite. We appreciate being here. We appreciate the invite that Paul gives us uh, to all your meetings so we can come out and meet you and you have a chance to meet us. <coughs>